My name is Kati. I was emotionally abused by the same man who loved me 100%. Their soul appear on their body. You won't even recognize them. Babe, regardless of what you're going through, I'm tired. You've got to cheer up, okay? Cheer up. Don't cry. Cheer up. Everything is going to be okay. Just cheer up. I have to go now. But I'll call you much later, okay? Take care. Don't, don't cry, don't cry. Okay. He loved me 100 plus 2. I loved him 100 minus 2. So, the love we had for each other was no less than a 100%. So many thought and refused to accept that we are not born by the same woman. Not realizing it is L-O-V-E that gummed us together. All his major characters influenced mine. All my threats went over to him. 
Nothing enters my stomach unless shared with him. Now, where love meant breakfast, hatred, pain, abuse and depression, jealousy replaced L-O-V-E. Harmony is gone. Suicide was the next option. Because so many who were depressed take sniper just to end it. But I remember it only led souls to damnation, caused regrets, and needless is its importance. So what do I do? What do I do? My broken past. You know, life is a beautiful thing. But how you live it matters a lot. A girl child is like the perfect mirror if it gets cracked for any reason. You can never fix it or glue it back. And it will always be seen as cracked. A woman can be described as the most endangered species in our world. At birth, a woman is a carbon copy of her own mother, yet nobody ever suspects she will make it. As a little virgin, she is like a Sahara desert, no foot attempt to cross through thee. At about 10 years, it seems as if she will make it, still, no one cares to recognize the value she possesses. Around the age of 16, she is like a new currency, directly from a central bank, several eyes towards thee. Yet what she can buy has not been decided upon. Between the age of 17 and 25, she is like a golden cup, centered for a competitive sport. All athletes are at struggle to acquire. Her importance is perceived, not discovered. But if between 25 and 45, she bears no fruit. But if between 20 and 50, her value is not manifested, then she is like an unneeded piece of wood within a capitalist workshop. Beyond 50, she is like a deadly ocean where no swimmer thinks of visiting. No fish is inside. Therefore, fishermen see no reason for existence. So, in loneliness does she remain. So, thoughts of these made me realize the act of responsibility. As a woman, not to allow my broken past against my self-inclination. The misfortune made me realize I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be protected. Today, I speak not just because I'm a woman, but first, I'm a human. And as such, my fundamental human rights needs to be protected. I speak for the right and welfare of the women to speak against abuse and reduction of our self-esteem. We need to be loved. We need to be protected. We need to be cared for to maintain our value, respect, and integrity. Today, I'm not different from all those women out there who go through emotional trauma and not survive it. But I decided to step up my confidence, my courage, my choice to forgo my broken past. Time has come for us to put a stop to this menace. Time has come for us to put a stop to this crippling scourge. Don't settle for emotional abuse, thinking it's okay just because it's not physical. Never give up on yourself. 
keep your self-esteem alive. Dream, love, believe, and forgo your broken past. <laughs>